see you all. Good morning, America. I hope that you all are doing well. I'm tired this morning. And we had storms coming through, but we was fortunate and blessed that uh, it, the heavy stuff bypassed us. But anyway, I would like to talk to you about something that you're familiar with. You remember the, the saying, divide and conquer? Yeah. Hmm. It is so true. In, in, in any military uh, conflict, the best result to defeat a opposing army the enemy is to especially if they are a large military they have more troops than you your only best alternative your best bed I'll get it right all right best offense is to divide and then conquer well guess what yeah our uh, communist leader, the one who is sitting on his golden throne, along with his, uh, how we say, ad administration, but they're, but they're the ones who actually run the show. But the thing is, now now they're wanting to divide this country further. See, it makes it easy to control, to conquer a people, is to divide. And boy, do we got it. And if you're those people who've been following along with him, you're fixing to hate him more than anything. You that worship the ground he walks on. That there's no one like J.B. There's no one like your glorious leader, your comrade. Your king of communism for America. Alright, here's the thing. Uh, it's bad enough that we have just everyday problems in our own personal lives. Yeah? Yeah? But, uh, well, considering it all, guess what? Well, it's not enough that he, he's uh, happy and, and laughing like a, a kid with candy in his pocket because he's uh, been, you know, he had been out trying to, to get a DJT, right? Yeah, well... But that's not enough, because he knows that ain't going to work. So the only thing he is, is left is to divide the f people in this country further. And it's not enough that they want to take firearms away. Oh, yeah, he's got y'all believing it's for our protection to protect the lives. No, he don't give a rat's tail in about your 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 personal protection and about your kids and that's a fact but here's what he's doing even further just to get you into fighting among yourselves and you ought to be pretty mad about that because he's played you for the fool or should i say his uh, handlers is played you for the fools now he's wanting to divide among, since uh, a lot of the black people are going for uh, DJT to support him. Now, that's not enough. He wants to divide the black people as well among themselves. Yeah, it has to do with, uh, about whether, you know, the which ones of you were, uh, uh, related by blood to those who were slaves which ones were who were immigrants and all this and he's going to get you to fight among yourselves and that's what they're aiming 
But you think it's going to stop there? No, uh, ain't no telling where else he's going. But the thing is, it's about divide and conquer. And that leaves room for his comrades from uh, over there overseas, from two communist countries and stuff, uh, that will also come over here and take over. So, yeah, you can expect that. It will happen. But, see, he's got to make it easier for his comrades. What kind of deal he's made with them, I can't say. But it has to do with so that they, they the communist people of America, can, you know, those who are in the elite, so they can stay in power. And, they, and you know how that works with communist countries. You know, their leaders fight like dogs and, and cats. It, it, it's like a, a, a dog-eat-dog world, you know? Yeah. So, the thing is, you got to stay on your toes. I don't care what skin color you are. We're all human beings. We all bleed just the same as anyone else. We have feelings like anyone else. Don't matter who you are. But if you follow in with this agenda, which is totally evil in every sense of the word, then guess what? One day, if you don't do something and say, no, enough's enough, well, then you know what's going to happen? With everybody fighting over their pronouns and trans and gay and and uh, blacks and whites and then now it'll be the blacks against blacks because uh, related to the the slaves well i was an immigrant you know or blah 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 and on and on right well it, it'll go into the religious thing it'll go the uh christians fighting christians you know, like, uh, for instance, Catholics against the Protestants, Protestants against the Baptists, and on and on and on. And, you know, you, you're catching my drift. You know what I'm saying. Uh, it, I mean, same for the rich and the poor. Or those who ain't really considered rich, more or less, but maybe had just a little more than the other person. So then it's going to go into fights and that, I mean... Talk about division, and then when that leaves, because it makes it easier for them to just come in and grab your, your firearms. You know what your firearms for? No, it's not just for hunting. It's to protect yourselves from tyrants and criminals. That's what's all that for. So, stay on your toes. Watch your six. Be alert and be aware of what's going on, not only around you, but what's going on in this country. Don't be going around hollering, he's a Democrat, I'm going to hang him. Don't go around saying, he's a Republican, I'm going to hang him. There ain't worth nothing. Don't, don't, don't go into that. We have a common enemy. It's called communism. And it's taken foot, taken over. And... I don't know what else to tell you. Because one day, you who are into your, so absorbed into your pronouns, your uh, wokeism, once the communists come full force from other com countries and uh, kill a lot of you, I mean, you're going to be in that number. You know, don't think that they're going to slap you on the back and call you comrade. They're not going to give a care about your pronouns. You know, I don't care, you know, what you, uh, how you identify for yourself. But see, you're so absorbed into forcing everyone else to believe the way you do to uh, follow in your delusions, whatever that may be. Here's the thing. When the, uh, the enemy from other countries come, they're not going to clap you on the back you're, you're either going to be fodder for uh, fertilizer, 
for the ground or you're going to be a slave. And then after that, you'll probably be eventually fertilizer. But anyway, the thing is, you got to watch your six. Be aware of what's going on. And, you know, it's amazing. You don't like people calling you a liar. You don't like people using you and stuff. But how does, you know, stop and think about it. How does it feel that your government is using you, huh? How does that feel? And other people with hidden agendas and stuff is using you, playing you for the fool. Think about it. I just thought I would share just that little bit. I, I, there's a lot more that could be said about all this. You know, I'm not going to go in it because, you know, tired i'm busy and stuff you know and all that not to mention i'm hurting like crazy so uh got other problems and things around here with family's uh health and stuff and i'm not going to go into all that maybe another day but uh, <coughs> excuse me but i hope that you will be blessed and that everything goes well for you and that you will stop and think and see what's going on. And if you have any information about some other things, about things that's going on that maybe a lot of us don't know, please share it in the comments. And if you can, put a link to it. Or send me an email at uh, martywarhorse at gmail.com. So, uh... And let me know so you can give me a link and uh, stuff and love to share it you know look into it all right um i'll catch you later and you take care of yourselves love you all be blessed remember to pray for one another and let us help one another in these troubling times okay take care my friends and until then let me just say i, I hope and what dope.